everyone, it's Lisa here from 11 Windmills and today I want to show you how to do the cast on for my beautiful new succulent garden shawl. Um, I'm very excited so um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. Um, so the cast on starts here at the tip and the shawl is an ever-increasing asymmetrical triangle, which is really, really lovely. It has this I-cord binding around the edge, and it has this gorgeous, seamless I-cord cast on at the beginning. Um, so I really looked very hard to see if I could find a way to cast on the I-cord and have it travel around the corner um, and be quite seamless and I couldn't find anything so uh, I ended up kind of developing this technique on my own it's a bit like a Turkish cast on but it's modified and it also has like a provisional cast on thing happening too um, but I'll show you how to do it um, this video is meant to go alongside the instructions in the pattern so if you haven't got the pattern yet you can go ahead and find it on Ravelry um, and uh, yeah shout out to Lisa from NNK Yarns who dyed the beautiful kit for me um, and she has yarns available on her website all right so um, I have my needles ready to go I have kind of a short cable on my needles you'll probably need to use a longer one for the shawl um, because it gets quite wide in sections but um, this was the only cable I had left that wasn't on a project so that's what I'm using I also have my color 4 which in my project is this beautiful cactus blooms color from NNK yarns um, and that's the one that appears at the very tip of the shawl in the first section of the fade so we're casting on here at the very tip and what we're doing is just this first little section up there <clears throat> all right so um, let's get some yarn all right the first thing that I need to do is to create a slip knot so I do that just by wrapping the yarn around my fingers in a loop like that and I use my needle to pull the bottom loop through however you do a slip knot that's fine this is just my method of doing it <clears throat> um, and we're placing it on one of the needles um, we hold the needles together pointing left with the slip knot on the top needle then we wrap the yarn around the needles three times one two three so we've created three wraps and that's the slip knot at the end there we're just going to carefully turn our needles around making sure that we don't dislodge any of the wraps so now our needles are pointing towards the right what we do next is we take the bottom needle and we pull it out careful not to unwrap any of the loops and if it helps you to just hold that yarn in between your fingers just to stop it unraveling then do that too so I've just got it held between my fingers here and I've created some tension with my other finger you don't have to exactly do that you can just hold it with your thumb and finger like that as you pull the needle through um, but I kind of wanted you to be able to see what I was doing so I want the three loops there the slip knot is at the end and I'm pulling the cable through but I'm not pulling it all the way through so I've got a little bit of a loop here but I've made my bottom needle available for knitting so now we can start working our I cord so the first row um, we knit three and we slip them back to the left needle so that's the three that are on the top and then we leave those loops on the bottom there so we knit three one two three so I've knit three stitches I have the slip knot on the left needle and my three stitches are on the right needle and I slip them back my three stitches to the left needle and that is row one so I've now three loops on the top needle and three loops on the cable and my slip knot is just there 
So rows two to six is that we repeat row one. And we do it five more times. So knit three. One, two, three. Okay, that's the first time. Now we're going for the second time. That was the second time. So if you're counting rows, <clears throat> the ones on the cable don't count. Then we've got the first row. Then this is row two, row three. I'm about to do row four. Row four, slip them back. Okay, now I'm doing row five. One, two, three, and slip them back. Whoops. And then this is row six. One, two, three, and then I slip them back again. So what I've created is this kind of little I cord um, between the stitches that are being held provisionally on my cable and the ones that I've been working on my needle and this wacky little slip stitch is just hanging out here. Don't worry, we'll handle that in a minute. Okay, so row seven is where things start to get a bit interesting. <clears throat> we knit three. Whoops, need more yarn. Sorry. All right, there we go. We're doing this. We knit three. That was one, two, three. Then we skip the first, I'll point with my needle, we skip the first one on the I cord and then we pick up stitches in the rest of the I cord. So we're going to pick up and knit two. So we skip the first one and then we go into the second one. Sort of doesn't matter where, but I usually try and pick up two legs of a stitch. So one, pick up and knit two. So there are the two legs, I'm going right through the stitch there. Then we skip the next one and then we pick up and knit two. Uh, there it is, pick up one, pick up and knit two. Okay, so I've done, I've got my three I cord stitches the two that I picked up, there's one I cord stitch that I skipped in the middle and then I've picked up another two. Then I want to slide the three provisionally cast on stitches onto my needle. So at this point I can kind of ditch the um, slip knot. I slide my three provisional stitches up and where's my working yarn? There. I slip three with yarn in front. Just like that. So this is the front of my work. I didn't work those last three stitches, I just slipped them. Because when I turn my work around and I start knitting, they are going to be the first I cord um, on this side and those three will be the last I cord on the end. So when you start knitting the next section, when you follow the instructions, you'll work these three like an I cord, you'll work these four according to the pattern and then those three will be the next I cord. So you'll slip those three with yarn in front. Okay, and that's it. You should have 10 stitches on your needle, two, four, six, eight, ten, and that's how you do the cast on for the succulent garden shawl. All right, have fun.